Good morning. Uh, this is no expert. Uh, I have a 2008 Audi A8 that uh, everybody that I've seen has some sort of issues with the hood latches. Hood latches uh, tend to break in these things. They're kind of small. Uh, they are uh, really, really thin. Uh, I can uh, show you here. I mean, this is uh, indicative of the size of the uh, of the cable, and they tend to break, and they split off into two. They're the same size as this, and they go to the, the hood latches. Now, the hood latches are pretty hidden uh, in this car. You to take the hood latch off, you've got to take the nose off. Not not a fun plan. Not fun to change the cables. Just not fun. So what do you do? Uh, you maintenance them. That's what you do. Uh, so um, in mine, I've already done all this. So what I did was in mine, this was corroded pretty badly. So I hit it with a uh, emery paper. Uh, just get it nice and clean. Uh, you can use Scotch Brite or whatever. Uh, whatever you got, it, it pretty much works. Also, on this particular one, this is the Paul. I'll show you here. And this is uh, one of the little tools that I use for this. This thing where it catches, I'll show you. This will catch and hold. And this thing was stuck. It was actually stuck in place. And uh, I had to first beat on it with a hammer uh, to get it to move. Then once I saw that it did move, um, I spray, sprayed some PB Blaster on it. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, that's the, the stuff to use. Um, and then worked it with the with the uh, with the scribe here, and you can get the thing to get, get the camera over here. You can get this thing to move, or down here where the this is where the cable is. Let's see if I can see it there. That's where the cable ends. I can push this guy, and it should release. There we go, released. Sorry about that. And uh, so anyway, I just worked this guy a bunch of times, and uh, get it moving. Then white lithium grease it, and and that's pretty much it. Uh, maintenance these guys put some oil on them that thing was frozen um i could tell because this was kind of slanted still kind of slanted a little bit and my of course my uh my pull was really heavy very heavy i also put a couple couple of drops of three and one right here right here and right here just on the ends of the cable in case you have a little bit of corrosion there, better than nothing. And uh, that's pretty much it. Maintenance these guys, and you won't have to change a cable because it won't break. <laughs> um, also, uh, you know, props to a couple of guys that have put emergency uh, cables that go right here. I guess they could cut a little slot here and put a bicycle cable, ran it through this um, spring out the back and into the fender so you can pull the fender well and uh and uh get to it that way in case you got a broken cable of course uh if that's only if this one breaks if these guys breaks you're still gonna have to do the cutting of the of these latches here um sorry that's just the way it goes uh, also there's these little switches way down here these little switches will cause you they're, they're way down in the bottom here. Um, really tough to see. But they're way down. If you go straight down, the hood switches are right here. And they can sometimes get... You actually hear it. That's the hood switch. Um, straight down. And uh, clean those guys out with some brake cleaner. And, uh, and then you can... Uh, Hopefully get those guys working again. Um, I had issues with that. You know, the hood wouldn't. This is the whole reason for this was that the hood wouldn't uh, wouldn't shut, wouldn't wouldn't be commanded shut by the computer, or the computer sense the hood is being shut. Take it, reverse it, and uh, so that's what I originally did this for. But boy, it was tough to open the hood and 
Then I heard of all the issues with the hood and, well, maintenance that sucker. So I came up with a method. Thank you for, for watching and have a great day.